as Kanye West failed to release Vultures 2 on the release date that he promised us himself. Many people are worried that history is going to repeat itself and the rest of the Vultures trilogy is never going to see the light of day, and while you would be a fool to expect Kanye to follow up on his word and drop an album on time, Despite all the uncertainty around the record's fate, all signs are pointing to the fact that Vultures 2 has a release date right around the corner and I'm gonna tell you when that is. Now as fans run around frantically worrying if Kanye West is gonna claim back his title as the world's biggest liar, before we can jump to conclusions and bash Ye, it's important to understand what has been going on as we have waited for the second installment in the Vulture series. Now as we all know, the release of the first Vultures record was an absolute disaster as Ye and Ty Dolla Sign ran into about every single problem that they possibly could, but despite the troubles the record faced when it came to getting off the ground and actually staying up on streaming services. Since all this trouble, Vultures has become one of the most successful albums in all of hip-hop in quite some time. From breaking streaming records and milestones for independent artists to the absolute breakout hit of Carnival, Vultures 1 has been an album that has shown so much life in an era where most projects are forgotten about in less than a week, and in all honesty, I don't even think Kanye himself expected the album to be doing this well. With each passing week, Kanye's listener count keeps spiking up, with him now being the seventh most listened to artist in the entire world, and with Carnival continuing to gain more momentum as it battles to become Ye's first number one record on the Billboard Hot 100 as a lead artist since Stronger. On top of Kanye probably not having Vultures 2 done yet, I think for the first time in his career, Ye intentionally pushed back the release of a record to let the first installment of Vultures really make the impact that it's destined to at this point. Now while Kanye usually makes some terrible decisions when it comes to lying to us and holding back new music, I think this is a rare calculated move on his part that is ultimately going to allow every part in this series to stand on their own as distinct moments. If Ye were to drop Vultures 2 on March 8th, this would just not be a smart move whatsoever as not only will it hurt the success of songs like Carnival, Burn, and Back to Me that are still charting, but it would also hurt the release of the second installment itself as it would begin to overload the majority of listeners flocking back to Kanye with way too much new music to consume. Now if this isn't convincing enough, from what Kanye has hinted at recently, we have even further reason to believe that Vultures 2 is still coming and when you piece together this part of the puzzle, we can actually figure out what day they're going to release it too. Probably. Now as Kanye rolled out Vultures 1 and continues to promote it, he has been doing listening experiences all around the world and after announcing two more upcoming shows in Phoenix and San Francisco for March 10th and 12th respectively and also having a headlining performance at Rolling Loud California for Thursday the 14th, it seems like Kanye is going to be using this series of shows to begin and finish the rollout for Vultures 2. Now between the flyers for these shows having different branding than the events that led up to Vultures 1, or the fact that Ty Dolla Sign himself has hinted at the project coming very soon in interviews, it seems like as Ye and Ty return to the US and prepare to do their biggest show yet at the largest hip hop festival in the world in Rolling Loud, everything the duo has set up seems to be leading right into the release of Vultures' second installment. Now looking at it like this, logically it seems like Ye and Ty would be finally putting out Vultures 2 only a week late on March 15th, but this still seems a little too calculated for Kanye and considering the fact that rappers like Future and Nicki Minaj and even producers like Metro Boomin are going to be at Rolling Loud right at the same time as he is. I wouldn't be surprised if Ye uses this entire weekend to put final touches on the project and maybe even convince Nicki Minaj to clear her verse for New Body so we can finally get one of the most anticipated songs in all of Kanye's catalog on streaming services. So putting all this together, it seems like the realistic time Vultures 2 will release will be something out of nowhere like Sunday March 17th after all of the madness of Rolling Loud but considering how the lost two days of sales tracking hurt Vultures 1 during its launch, it's more likely that Ye will drop the album the following week on Friday, March 22nd. Now between all this and the fact that Beyonce is dropping her upcoming album Act 2 on March 29th, Kanye will not wait any longer to drop Vultures 2 than March 22nd because the massive industry push that Beyonce will get with her sequel to Renaissance will definitely overshadow Kanye and he does not want to potentially lose out on continuing his dominant run of number one albums. Now if all of this doesn't have you convinced that Vultures 2 is coming soon, there is one final thing to remember about the record and Kanye himself as we worry if he will repeat history again. 
Now, in the past, when Kanye didn't release albums, there was no harm coming his way outside of a few angry Def Jam executives who were mad that they weren't gonna cash out on more music from him, but now, Ye is in a completely different situation. In the past, while there was never any consequences to Kanye himself when he decided to scrap an album last minute, now with Ye being an independent artist, everything for him is riding on the release and success of these projects. While Kanye has been dropped from Def Jam, they still own all of his albums from The College Dropout to Donda, so despite those records still generating more money than one could ever need, Kanye is not seeing a cent of it, so that means that the only music he can benefit from is what he puts out now. Kanye talked about this directly on his Instagram story in a message exchange that I can't seem to find anywhere about how the success of Vultures 1 is amazing, but it's simply the start of a battle against the music industry and to truly reap the financial rewards of being an independent artist. It requires building a more substantial catalog that will collectively work for you as the more popular songs you release, the more revenue they will continually generate, and if you have ever seen the money that somebody like Russ makes from being independent, you will know that once up and running as an independent musician, an artist of Kanye's magnitude will make more money on his own than he ever saw from his label deal, and this is ultimately his end goal with this entire series. This is the primary reason why Vultures itself was split up into a trilogy in the first place as Kanye is trying to release over 50 new songs worth of material this year that he owns entirely as even having a catalog of just this size that all goes to him. It's gonna give him a catalog that he entirely owns that will have the power to support him as he takes his brand into an entire new era. In all honesty, this added pressure for Kanye is only gonna benefit fans as he is more driven than ever to drop as many songs that resonate with people like Burn or Carnival as by having these massive hit songs that are pulling in millions of streams every day. He's not just reshaping his career and giving himself ownership to his music, but he is changing the entire landscape of the industry. So as the future of Kanye's career really depends on the success of him completing the Vultures trilogy and building on the momentum of what has been such a successful first project, it's safe to say that Vultures 2 will definitely come out before the end of March and most likely on the 22nd. Now, as Kanye finishes up an album that he is trying to make an even bigger cultural moment than the last, this is definitely not an easy task, but considering all the music that didn't even make Vultures 1, it looks like if Kanye plays his cards right, he can end up making an album that's even better than its predecessor. It seems like everybody with Lil Baby and Charlie Wilson is gonna be the lead single for this record, which considering the fact that this song has already become a fan favorite before it's even been officially released, if Carnival can't become a chart-topping hit, this track may have potential to, and beyond this. With the album most likely having more tracks with Playboy Cardi and Freddie Gibbs, and also long-awaited cuts like River with Young Thug, IG Models with Future, Lifestyle with Lil Wayne, and of course, New Body. Vultures 2 could seriously end up being a record that has more hits than any Kanye album has in quite some time. Now, making holding out for Vultures 2 seem a little more worth it. A lot of the tracks that could very well be on this record contain more coherent and thoughtful lyrical performances from Kanye, which after seeing him really just say about anything that came to his mind on Vultures 1. Would be a nice change of pace to see him start getting into his bag a little more on Vultures 2 and give us more tracks like Burn. Now, at this point, as all of these cards are left on the table and we are left waiting to see what Kanye's next move is, only time will tell if all of these hints actually led to what they were teasing to, or if Kanye just goes off the walls and lies to us again. But as we see this next week unfold, and the anticipation for Vultures 2 only gets greater and greater. No matter what happens, I'm sure that we are going to end up remembering what's to come for quite some time, so let me know. Are you convinced that we are getting Vultures too soon, or do you think Kanye is going to do what he does best and lie to us? I can't wait to hear what you have to say in the comments, and if you want to see my ranking of every Kanye album, including Vultures 1, check out the suggested video.